Hello and welcome to our video on the science of building muscle. In this video, we'll be exploring the mechanisms behind muscle growth and how to trigger it. So, let's start with the basics. Muscle growth occurs when muscle fibers are exposed to mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and muscle damage. These three factors work together to stimulate the muscle to grow stronger and larger. Mechanical tension is a critical factor in triggering muscle growth. It is generated when a muscle contracts against a resistance or load, such as lifting a weight or pushing against a resistance band. The force generated by the muscles during this contraction creates tension in the muscle fibers, which in turn stimulates them to grow. The primary mechanism by which mechanical tension stimulates muscle growth is through a process called mechanotransduction. This is the process by which mechanical forces are converted into biochemical signals that trigger muscle growth. When a muscle is subjected to mechanical tension, it activates mechanosensors located on the surface of the muscle fibers. These mechanosensors include proteins called integrins, which are able to sense changes in the mechanical properties of the extracellular matrix that surrounds the muscle fibers. When the integrins sense mechanical tension, they activate a signaling pathway that ultimately leads to the activation of a protein called mTOR, mechanistic target of rapamycin. mTOR is a key regulator of muscle growth, and its activation triggers a cascade of events that result in the synthesis of new muscle proteins and the growth of muscle fibers. Research has shown that higher levels of mechanical tension are associated with greater muscle growth. This is because the greater the tension placed on the muscle fibers, the greater the activation of the mechanotransduction signaling pathway and the more muscle growth that occurs. In addition to stimulating muscle growth, mechanical tension also plays a role in maintaining muscle mass. Studies have shown that when the muscle is not subjected to regular mechanical tension, such as during periods of immobilization or bed rest, it undergoes a process called disuse atrophy, which results in a loss of muscle mass and strength. In summary, mechanical tension is a critical factor in triggering muscle growth. By subjecting the muscles to mechanical tension through resistance training, we can activate the mechanotransduction signaling pathway and stimulate the growth of muscle fibers. This underscores the importance of including resistance training in any muscle building program. Metabolic stress is the second factor that plays a critical role in triggering muscle growth. It occurs when the muscles are pushed to their limits, such as during high intensity exercise, and results in a buildup of metabolites such as lactate and hydrogen ions. When the muscles are working at a high intensity, they require energy to fuel their contractions. The primary source of this energy is glucose, which is converted into ATP, adenosine triphosphate, through a process called glycolysis. During glycolysis, glucose is broken down into pyruvate, which is then converted into lactate. This lactate buildup, along with the accumulation of hydrogen ions, results in an increase in acidity in the muscle tissue, a condition known as acidosis. This acidosis triggers a cascade of events that ultimately leads to muscle growth. One of the key mechanisms by which metabolic stress triggers muscle growth is through the activation of a protein called hypoxia-inducible factor 1-alpha, HIF-1A. HIF-1A is a transcription factor that regulates the expression of genes involved in a range of processes, including cell growth and metabolism. When the muscles are subjected to metabolic stress, HIF-1A is activated, which triggers the expression of genes involved in muscle growth. In addition to HIF-1A, metabolic stress also triggers the release of growth factors such as insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, and mechano growth factor, MGF, which stimulate muscle growth. Research has shown that metabolic stress is an important factor in promoting muscle growth. A study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology found that training that induced metabolic stress such as high-intensity resistance training, was more effective at promoting muscle growth than low-intensity training. In summary, metabolic stress is an important factor in triggering muscle growth. When the muscles are pushed to their limits and subjected to high-intensity exercise, 
It results in a buildup of lactate and hydrogen ions, which triggers a cascade of events that ultimately leads to muscle growth. This underscores the importance of including high-intensity training in any muscle-building program. Muscle damage is the third factor that plays an important role in triggering muscle growth. It occurs when the muscle fibers are torn or damaged during intense exercise, such as weightlifting or sprinting. When the muscle fibers are subjected to intense exercise, it results in microscopic tears and damage to the muscle fibers. This damage triggers a response from the body's repair mechanisms, which include the activation of satellite cells. Satellite cells are muscle stem cells that are activated in response to muscle damage. They fuse with the damaged muscle fibers and facilitate the repair and regeneration of the muscle tissue. Through this repair process, the muscle fibers become stronger and larger, resulting in increased muscle mass. In addition to activating satellite cells, muscle damage also triggers the release of growth factors such as insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, and fibroblast growth factor, FGF, which play important roles in muscle growth and repair. Research has shown that muscle damage is an important factor in promoting muscle growth. A study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that high-intensity resistance training, which results in significant muscle damage, was more effective at promoting muscle growth than low-intensity training. It's important to note that while muscle damage is necessary for muscle growth to occur, excessive muscle damage can lead to negative outcomes such as muscle soreness, reduced muscle function, and impaired recovery. Therefore, it's important to balance the amount of muscle damage induced during training to ensure optimal muscle growth and recovery. In summary, muscle damage is an important factor in triggering muscle growth. When the muscle fibers are subjected to intense exercise and experience microscopic tears and damage, it triggers the body's repair mechanisms, resulting in stronger and larger muscles. This underscores the importance of including high-intensity exercise and proper recovery in any muscle-building program. To trigger muscle growth, the most effective approach is through progressive overload. This involves gradually increasing the amount of weight or resistance used during your workouts over time. Progressive overload is based on the principle of the SAID, Specific Adaptation to Imposed Demands principle, which states that the body will adapt to the specific demands placed upon it. In the case of muscle growth, this means that to continue making progress, the muscles must be subjected to progressively greater levels of stress over time. Research has shown that progressive overload is an effective method for promoting muscle growth. A study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that training that involved progressive overload was more effective at promoting muscle growth than training that did not involve progressive overload. There are several ways to implement progressive overload, including increasing the weight lifted, increasing the number of sets and repetitions, decreasing the rest time between sets, or increasing the difficulty of the exercise. It's important to note that the rate of progression should be gradual and appropriate to your level of fitness and experience. Too much weight or resistance too soon can lead to injury and hinder progress. A general rule of thumb is to aim for a 2-10% increase in weight or resistance every one, two weeks. In addition to progressive overload, other factors that can contribute to muscle growth include proper nutrition and recovery. Adequate protein intake is crucial for muscle growth, as protein provides the building blocks necessary for muscle repair and growth. Additionally, proper recovery, including adequate sleep and rest days, is necessary to allow the muscles time to repair and grow. In summary, the most effective way to trigger muscle growth is through progressive overload. By gradually increasing the amount of weight or resistance used during your workouts over time, you can continue to challenge your muscles and promote growth. However, it's important to progress gradually and to prioritize proper nutrition and recovery for optimal results. When you lift weights that are challenging for your muscles, you create the necessary mechanical tension to stimulate muscle growth. Over time, you'll need to increase the weight or resistance to continue making progress. In addition to progressive overload, there are a few other things you can do to enhance muscle growth. First, make sure you're getting enough protein in your diet. Protein is essential for muscle growth and repair. Second, prioritize compound exercises that work multiple muscle groups at once. These exercises, such as squats, 
deadlifts, and bench presses are the most effective at stimulating muscle growth. Finally, make sure you're getting enough rest and recovery. Your muscles need time to repair and grow after each workout, so make sure you're getting enough sleep and allowing for adequate rest days. So, there you have it. The Science of Building Muscle By understanding the mechanisms behind muscle growth and how to trigger it, you can design an effective workout program to achieve your fitness goals. In conclusion, building muscle is a complex process that involves a combination of mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and muscle damage. By understanding these factors and implementing strategies such as progressive overload, proper nutrition, and recovery, you can maximize your muscle growth potential and achieve your fitness goals. Remember, consistency and patience are key when it comes to building muscle. Results don't happen overnight, but with dedication and hard work, you can achieve the physique you desire. So, keep pushing yourself and never give up on your fitness journey. Thank you for watching. And we hope you found this video informative and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more science-based content on health and fitness.